Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The arrival of three Momentum candidates last week on Labour's ruling executive, the NEC, was dubbed a landslide, a playful take on the name of the charismatic figure at its centre, John Landsman. Now, if Tony Blair's new Labour thought it had shut down the socialist left of his party for good, the rise of Momentum, which now stands at the party's very core, is a reminder of how much can change. The group were formed following Jeremy Corbyn's successful campaign for the Labour leadership in 2015 and now boasts 150 local groups and over 200,000 members and supporters. In a moment I'll be speaking to Mr Landsman but first David Grossman has been to Lancaster to see what momentum looked like in action. <laughs> Here's a project making a difference. We'll get some in here, Deborah Finn is collecting unwanted food from this warehouse in Preston. It's the start of a process that she hopes will not just help some people who need some help, but it'll also change society. The question is, is this politics? Is it activism? Is it charity? Or something else? It's not party politics in that sense. It's, it is political uh, because community is political. When I started doing this, I kept being told off that, you know, that politics has no place in the community, and I was just bewildered by that. I mean, what is community if, if it is not full of political decisions? And so for me, this, I only got into this, this whole process, in September 2015, guess why? And... Um, and got involved then with the Labour Party and with Momentum. So why Momentum? Why not just the Labour Party? For me personally, I, I don't see a distinction, So, so why to have be the honest. two memberships? Why, why be a member of Momentum, not, not just, just Labour? I suppose just to signal the strength of belief amongst the membership that actually we do want a different kind of Labour Party, that we want one that really does believe in the new politics of hope, of solidarity. The food from the warehouse is laid out at the Friends Meeting Hall in Lancaster. Piles of perfectly good in-date produce. It's the waste of a system Deborah says needs to change. This isn't charity, this isn't a food bank. No, no, not even remotely. This acts like a cooperative. This is about people coming together in solidarity. When we get together, we get ourselves a good deal. At half past six, the Lancaster Community Food Club opens its doors. The members pay the club dues, £3 a week. If you agree, put your hands up. That you should ha we should just have a system of one member. One they club, vote three. on the club rules and they socialise over tea. This is not, though, a political meeting. There's no mention at all of Jeremy Corbyn or Momentum. This is not about getting people to vote for change, but being a change. Do you talk to them about Momentum? No, 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 no. You don't? <laughs> no, no, no. But there is absolutely part no of you, politics and this in this is why you're doing it. Yes. The, the, uh, it's about my belief as, uh, yeah, as a human being about how I think society should be. And I think if we're socialists, we need to live our values. I, I think we can't go around speechifying. I think we have to demonstrate it. That is how we will achieve change, by living our values. We do need to change society from the ground up. Do you think, in a sense, that you know, the problem with the Labour Party was it lost sight of that connection with the communities that they were serving? It was more sort of top-down. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it, it was a sense that, well, as long as you give people stuff, they'll, mm, you know, and, mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll be grateful and they'll vote for us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, undoubtedly, yes. And it stopped working, didn't it? Mm. At the end of the evening, the club members take turns to collect a share of the food, around 35 to 40 pounds worth each. Not surprisingly, there's a waiting list to join. How much is it really a model for a new type of politics? How much is it simply a reflection of the fact that, as Deborah says, people love a good deal? Well, that was David Grossman and John Landsman, the Momentum Chairman, joins me now. Nice of you to come in, John. Just give us a sense. We've seen some of the projects like, um, you know, the food, the sort of community projects going on. How much do you think that should be the state's responsibility still and how much should it be 
the work of momentum and the work of sort of local activists now to take on some of the you know bigger problems, A and E provision or disability allowance, all those big things. Well, I certainly think it should be uh, the state's responsibility to do many of the things that the state has offloaded, and I think the collapse of uh, you know the, the collapse in in recent days of Carillion has has demonstrated the the folly of privatising. Uh, public services, losing the experience, uh, putting lots of people's jobs at risk, putting uh, sub private sector subcontractors at risk, uh, but still having to actually pick up the, the, the bill at the end of the day. Uh, it would be so much better for us to do it. But I also think it's important that we do uh, live the values that we preach and the work that Deborah's doing. Uh, up, up in Lancashire is fantastic. And momentum stays local then? It's individual groups or it's a it, it's a kind of centralised campaign? Well, it, you know, it, it's both. You know, we've got local groups that do things on the ground, uh, that work in elections, that, uh, you know, campaign in their communities and in their workplaces. Uh, and at a national level, you know, we try and uh, provide the backup and support. We develop digital tools. Uh, we mobilise people to do the things that we need so, to achieve. So let's look ahead then, because Momentum Back councillors could shortly be the dominant voice on Haringey Council, come May, if you, if you are, if you have that push behind you, how radical would the change be there? What would you like to see? I mean, you mentioned the failure of Carillion. Would you like to see then an end to the public-private partnerships currently underway, the development of that big estate which you know is going on now between land lease and the council? Well, uh, look, I, uh, first of all, I, I, I actually don't accept that it's going to be a momentum council. Uh, I think there'll be no more than You're 17... You're going to have a strong voice, that's all I'm saying. We'll have a strong voice, yes. Um, but, you know, it's a, it, it will be a Labour... It is a Labour council now and it will remain a Labour council now. But I think uh, that the uh, Lend-Lease deal... Uh, you know, I can understand in the past why Labour councils might have thought you need to do those kind of deals as perhaps the only option, but I think we're now, we could be only months away from a Corbyn government. I think we've got a, mu a, a much greater opportunity. So how strong will you be then? Will you say, you know, if you have this voice now, will you say, I don't want to see any more public-private partnerships on the council. I don't want, you know, let's take Manchester, Labour-run council in Manchester. I don't want to see those deals anymore. Will you actually feel able to tell those Labour councils what to do? I think the great thing that we have achieved as a result of Jeremy's election as leader of the Labour Party is that we can actually voice what most members of the Labour Party always believed, which is that, you know, the state can do good things. The state has been uh, slagged off by, unfortunately, too many politicians across the spectrum over the last 30 years. Uh, and, and we can But just going back to that then, I mean, you know, you are the radical man, right? You are the chairman of Momentum. So let me take you back to Haringey. Would you like to see um, public workers' salaries over £60,000 cut? I, 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 that isn't a proposal that I'm familiar with. Uh, I, 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 and, and I'm, you know, am I the radical man? I think I'm the mainstream man. Momentum is the new mainstream. Is that something that you'd like you know, to see? Uh, I, 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 I think that there is, in many uh, parts of the of the private sector, a far to great a gap between the, the top paid and the lowest paid, but that isn't the top priority for me in, uh, in Haringey. I think you know, we need actually mm. good managers to be able to take Would you uh, like to public see service delivery council back in-house. That's the other one, isn't it? You know, council tax, I think it's Chris Williamson's idea. Double council tax, rise, uh, a rise in council tax for larger houses, cut it for smaller ones. Where are you? I'm trying to get to the sense of where's your big idea now? This is your moment. You have come of age and you can start saying this is our radical plan this is well, what we want to see we are developing radical plans and i think a lot of local authorities are you know thinking of new ways of delivering public services in the public sector and that is what i want to see i don't think that's radical okay you no know, i think it's now mainstream but, but, but nothing no commitment to cut salaries no commitment to raise council tax for big houses, none of the sort of ideas that have been floated over the past few months? Uh, no, I, no. I, I want to see us build houses. You know, we've hardly built any houses in, in Britain for everyone generations. Everyone wants to see that. It's so, you know, what makes... Well, you say everyone <laughs> wants to see that. You well, know, it's not, the it's... Tories might say they want to see that, but they haven't done it okay. at all. And I'm unfortunately nor did the last Labour government. But you've... I want to see it in the next Labour uh, You've government. said very clearly that Momentum will not campaign for the deselection of anyone anywhere at all, I think was your phrase. Correct. Do you still feel that there are elements in the PLP that are 
pulling you away from a Corbyn victory, making that less easy for you? Uh, look, I, I am pleased with the new spirit of unity that we saw on the NEC this week, uh, that we, I think, now see in the PLP, that, re that recognises that Jeremy is here to stay, uh, that uh, you know, we are seeking a transformative government. And in that spirit election. of unity, when you have, for example, a local momentum group um, continuing to support and campaign for a man who's been suspended from the Labour Party for his anti-Semitic views. What role do you then need to play as chairman of Momentum? Where do you stand well, in that? I am a Jew. I have experienced anti-Semitism. My children, who are only half Jewish because their mother wasn't Jewish, have experienced anti-Semitism. So you... I'm determined to root anti-Semitism okay. out. Let's, so at the let's... moment, you, you know what I'm talking about, of course. Um, local Momentum groups, for example, in Walthamstow, supporting David Watson, who was suspended from the Labour Party. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Do you tell that local momentum group to get in line because Labour has suspended this man for anti-Semitic remarks, well, or do you say everyone can do all, what they want? Someone who suspended hasn't yet been removed from the Labour Party, but we are very, and, the, and there are That's processes. There months. are process. Well, I'm, I'm one of the things I want to see is speeding up those processes. However, there should be proper processes. I think, and I want to see them improved and speeded up. But, once but we are very clear in Momentum that if people are are not members of the Labour Party, they cannot be members of Momentum. You know, we are a Labour. Party party organisation. We are the mainstream so of the Labour So what would be your party. message then to Momentum? Don't back somebody who's been suspended for anti-Semitic remarks or well, do what uh, you want? If people have made anti-Semitic remarks, then we have to deal with that. You know, but we have to do it also through a process because we believe in applying the principles of natural justice. Um, a quick thought. State visit is now back on or some kind of visit, working visit um, for President Trump. Jeremy Corbyn will be meeting Trump when he comes, I assume? I don't know whether he'll be meeting Trump, but I, I don't think he, he will welcome Trump's visit, and I, I certainly don't welcome Trump's visit. Be... And I think of most most people in Britain won't. Will won't. you protest? I mean, it? I, will you be out there protesting? I, I I think I will be protesting Trump's visit. You know, Trump is uh, you know has has shown himself to be a racist, uh, to be completely against what most people in Britain believe in. You know, I I I, I think Trump's politics have no place in. British society or in the United States. John Lansman, thank you very much. Thanks.